Zoom out! Zoom out! Hello Earthlings, I'm Adam the Alien, you are watching Adam the Alien. Today is October, I want to say 12th. Yes, it's the 12th, I got it right. Ha ha ha! It is October 12th, I'm down at the Frost Park Chalk Off as usual. I could not really record myself chalking today though because it's very wet. In fact, having my camera out right now is making it very wet and I worry for its safety given that it's been having some technical difficulties and all that whatnot. Main purpose of this is to show off the little thing I did for Occupied Tacoma's one year anniversary. If you're anywhere in the area, you should show up Sunday and Monday, October 14th and 15th respectively. We'll be down at the park that was occupied, Occupation Park, also known as Pudnetti Park. You can find more details online at OccupyTacoma.org or on Occupy Tacoma's Facebook page or just search for it, damn it! That being said, I also wanted to talk about another chalking that was here today. Here we have Poppy's drawing, and this is something I really, really want to emphasize. Partisan voting divides think to unite. Now the problem with politics as they stand is how polarized they and we have become. I confess I am a victim of this as well. It's very easy to watch the debates and go, I don't like that guy already so I'm not going to listen to anything he says. So I try to do my best. I try, I try. It is very difficult, but I try to do my best to listen to opposing views, to listen to views I don't agree with. Because ultimately we're trying to create a society run by leaders who represent the best for all of us. So voting along party lines just for the sake of voting for your party, the party you agree with, is a really terrible idea because that does not guarantee you're getting even the best leadership for you, yourself, and your own interests. To say nothing of everybody's best interests. And this is where it gets really difficult because you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention and you have to listen. You have to listen to the third party yours too. You have to listen to people who aren't running for president too. You have to listen to all of the things and you have to search out news. Real news, not entertainment, schlock jockey, bullshit news that's just there for mindless entertainment and empty words. It's a bit too moist out to go into all of my issues about that right now, but if you've seen the newsroom, it pretty accurately reflects what I think. I'll go more into my issues with that in a future video. One of the things though I like about Occupy is that at its core it is supposed to be non-partisan. People in it, individuals in it, are partisan, but Occupy itself is, in theory, supposed to encompass people of all walks of life, all different parties, beliefs, and political allegiances. That isn't always the reality, of course, as it depends on who chooses to participate. Which brings us right on back to the elections and voting and partisan voting. If you vote strictly along party lines without really listening to everyone, you are effectively not participating. Your vote matters, but you're giving it over to people without any question. You're saying, here, have my vote. I don't need it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. So please, if you have a voter's guide, read it. If you don't, find one, read it. If you've read it, go online, go search the news, do everything you can to make yourself as informed as you possibly can. Pay attention to the debates. Pay attention to what they're saying, not just how entertaining they are. Pay attention to people who aren't allowed in the debates. Pay attention to everything you possibly can. Absorb all of the information you possibly can because that is the only way you can make an informed decision about your own future. And I have a vested interest in this because it's my future too. It's all of our future. We are one people. So dividing ourselves strictly along party lines without any question or compromise, it doesn't work and it hurts all of us. So please, you have less than a month before it's time to cast your vote. So please, please, please get informed now. Spend the next less than a month researching and becoming informed and I know it's hard your life is busy my life is fucking chaos right now but it's important until next time I'm Adam the alien fare thee well